How's it going everybody? Welcome back here to another video and today we're going to talk about the way of adding multiple desktop on your single Mac with macOS Monterey. Adding multiple desktop can give you an extra help for your workflow. Let's say you're using multiple windows on your Mac just like this. Adding multiple windows can be a little messy, therefore adding multiple desktop can help you in many ways. Now if you add it, first you have to tap on or just press on the control keys and the uppercase and then you'll be able to see your every single windows will go like separately. Now if you take a look at your app here and then you'll be able to see this desktop option and now the more plus you click on, the more desktop that you're gonna get for your Mac. Now let's say you don't wanna use these windows for example for here, you wanna be a little more organized, then you have to click on the desktop and you have to drag it over either desktop so two, three, four, doesn't matter. You can leave it over there and then the windows will go straight to the desktop. Now the question is how you can switch from one desktop to another. Well, there's a two option available for that. First, you can choose your keyboard. Now on your keyboard, you want to press control keys and the right keys or the left keys and then you'll be able to see your desktop is actually switching from one to another. You can do exactly the same things by using your three finger, which is more smart. You can use your three finger to do exactly the same work. But some people, they actually can do that because they have have an enabled on your Mac and if you enable it all you have to do you have to click on that Apple logo here go to your system preference and from here all you have to do you have to click on the trackpad inside of your trackpad you gotta click on more gesture make sure you're on here and then you need to click on the mission control if you click on the mission control and then you'll be able to do the process on your Mac you can either choose three finger or four finger it doesn't matter then once you choose it up Get out of here and now use your three finger to simply drag it up. Well now, let's say you were done with all the work on your Mac. Now you want to close your desktop. How would you do that? Now once again, you have to click on the control and upper keys and then you'll be able to see all the desktop which is now available here. Now before I show you these, here is what happens, especially when you either use a browser or when you either use a, a multitask on your Mac. Now if you open up your browser here, then what happens if you full screen it and then if you take a look at here, then you'll be able to see the software will go straight here. It works exactly the same way, especially when you were using, let's say, when you're multitasking. Well, now if you're doing multitasking, then what's going to happen? You're going to see the same things going to happen over here. Now, the time to close your desktop. If you're going to close it, then all you have to do, you can click over here. If you click on there, then you'll be able to see that, you know, the desktop will be closed, but the windows will reappear on your, you know, desktop. So now you can click on cross, you can click on cross, and then you'll be able to see all this desktop will be closed. However, the windows will reappear on our desktop. Now, if you want to close all of this and then you are good to go. But lastly, we're going to talk about the customization for your mission control. Now, if you click on the Apple logo here, if you go to the system preference, and then if you click on the mission control, and then it's going to give you some additional option. Now, like we said earlier, we were actually using the control and the right and left keys in order to switch the desktop. You can switch it the way you want from here, depending on what you choose. All right, guys, so you can also customize a lot of things from here. And these are the ways you guys can add multiple desktops on your Mac. And this is how you can use it. Hope you find this video useful. If so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.